Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we're bringing you a little bit of news here. And my question is, is the White House destroying America? Is that their plan? Is that what they want to do? Do they want to destroy it, knock it all down so they can build it up their own little ways? Is this their big plan? I'm telling you folks, they have a plan. They're trying to put it in place. But somebody just put the whole brakes on the whole situation, and that's Mr. Joe from West Virginia. Yes, I guess him and Biden had a nice little meeting the other day and might have sounded like they might have come to a little crossroad and came to some compromises. But evidently after Mr. Joe from West Virginia there slept on it a little bit and thought a little bit more about it, he must have decided that, you know what, I ain't doing it. He went on Fox News and he announced that he was not backing the plan. He was backing out. He will not vote for it. Kudos to you, Mr. Joe from West Virginia. You know what, we don't need to be spending any more money on this BBBA plan, okay? And for furthermore, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that are going on and ways that uh, the White House speaks and they want to talk about fear mongering people. Well, they're doing a lot of that. If they were putting some of their videos on YouTube, they probably wouldn't be able to be viewed, but they can say it on the national news all they want. Go figure. It's the government. They're going to do what they want to do. But anyways, has anybody actually really looked what was in this plan, how much this was really going to cost? Okay, it started off $1.75 trillion, okay, which they, all the analysts and everything that has looked at this all state that it's going to end up costing about $5 trillion. So, you know, it's a lot of freaking money. You know, my grandkids, grandkids will be paying for this one. All right. But once you go through all this kind of stuff where they want to expand Medicare, they want to take care of prescription drugs, they want to do this, they want to do that. Then they throw in the whole bunch of crap for the whole Green New Deal where they want to force states and give them, you know, two hundred and fifty million dollars each to try to, you know, go green with the whole Green New Deal. Well, you know, that really just doesn't fly too much. But then you get to the very end down there and where they talk about taking your land. Here, let me just read it to you. I got it saved on my phone. These grants, now this is the last paragraph of this, okay? These grants would allow national lawmakers to achieve their goals by commandeering state and local government control over state and privately owned land. They're coming after your land, folks. That's what they want. They're coming after everything we have. They really want to change the way the government, they want to redo the government to their own way. So much for the Constitution. They really don't want that. They want to be able to do things their way. They want to make sure that what they do, what they say, and everything else, we have to abide by. They want to control us. They're already scaring the shit out of a lot of people out here. There's people that are just totally scared to death because of the whole Charlie Victor 19 thing and all its little offsprings, if you get what I'm saying here, folks. Okay, there are people that are petrified and every time when the White House comes out, just when was it today or yesterday, and they say, oh, prepare for the winter of death. Really? Let's put more fear in the American people, especially the older people. Now there's a lot of younger people that are actually falling for all this bullshit too. But the old folks, they believe everything that they hear and see on TV. Nothing like putting the fear of God in somebody, huh? I don't know, folks. I don't know which way this is going. All I know is I smell a rat. And unfortunately, I don't think this is going to end too well for all of us. 
So if you haven't been prepping and you're not ready, the perfect storm has arrived. They're coming for whatever they can get. Be prepared. Because they're going to be knocking on your door soon. They want your rights. They want your freedoms. They want everything. And they want you to do what they say to do, when they say to do it. Buy what you can buy when they say you can buy it. That's what they want. The new American way. Think about it. Just think about it for a minute. They want the control. God bless America. She's hurting right now. I believe if you're a praying person, you might want to pray for her. Till next time. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Catch you all on the flip side. I'm out.